<clears throat> so an engine fire emergency, I'm flying along, smell smoke, oh my gosh, what do I do? In real life, immediately fuel selector goes off, mixture goes to idle cutoff, megs go off. As we're practicing, obviously we don't do any of that, we don't actually want to shut off the engine, so we simulate it by pulling carb heat on, throttle comes to idle. Wings go 45 degrees over, we're trying to maintain a positive load factor, we're also trying to spill all of that vertical lift we have for horizontal lift. Wings go 45 degrees over, nose goes hard over. We let the airplane accelerate all the way up to VNO if we have smooth air past VNO. We are descending at this point at pegged at least 2000 feet per minute. We're trying to get as much airflow over the engine as possible to turn off that, uh, that fire or to extinguish the fire. Uh, we're also trying to get on the ground as quickly as possible. As I have time, I back it up with a checklist. As I have time, I declare the emergency. Most important thing though, is again, getting on the ground as quickly as possible and getting airflow over the engine as quickly as possible. In the, um, in the training world, at some point we would recover with at least 1500 feet AGL. We would go back to wings level. We would bring the nose back to the horizon, carb heat cold, add throttle, resume straight level, unaccelerated flight and do a, a cruise checklist. Or we keep the um, throttle idle, the carb heat out, and we simulate having extinguished the fire, but now having an engine out emergency, and then we would execute on the A, B, C, D, E. That's an engine fire.